What I'd like you to do right now is plan out your personal success ritual. Another uh, great lesson that I learned from Tony Schwartz is that if you want to create a ritual that you actually do, you need to plan it out specifically. Now most people do not plan specifically even when they're told to. And I want to make sure that you do this. Do not watch the next session. Do not do anything else until you have mapped out and specifically planned all the steps in your ritual. And here are the things you need to plan. Number one, you need to plan what I call the on-ramp to your ritual. That's a 10 to 15 minute period that you set aside that's extra time. And you're setting aside this extra time because you, you don't know what you don't know. Okay, you're going to wake up and you're going to go to exercise and you're going to go, okay, where did I put my shoes again? Or you're going to get distracted doing something else because it's what you normally do. You're going to need 10 or 15 minutes as the on-ramp to your ritual. So plan 10 or 15 minutes. Put that down first. Next, plan what you're going to do in the ritual. Specifically, plan it out. If you're going to drink water when you first wake up, plan where you're going to put the water the night before, how you're going to remind yourself. You might have to put a visual reminder out. Um, before I got into the habit, okay, the routine, the ritual of drinking water, I used to take it and I would put it on my bathroom sink. I'd put a half liter of water right on my bathroom sink. So when I got up and I walked into the bathroom first thing in the morning, it was there. And I went, oh, right, I got to drink my water. So you may have to do that. Next, plan out the next piece, which is, you know, the exercise. And then, um, you know, the third key component is uh, your first meal. So plan out each of those things. How are you going to make sure that you do it? What are you going to put in place? That on-ramp, okay, and literally detail all of it. Write out all the steps. How are you going to make sure that you're set up to succeed in your ritual? And then finally, you need a 10 to 15 minute off-ramp as well. You need to reintegrate with your regular life. Okay? You need to re-plug into the rest of your day. Now, this is a pretty complex ritual that I'm giving you here. Okay, the water, the exercise, and the first meal. Don't do all the fancy stuff that I said that I do. I've added those things one at a time. It's a pretty sophisticated ritual, just doing those three things. Water, 30 minutes of exercise, healthy first meal. But I want you to try doing them immediately. My friend Wyatt Woodsmall, he says, there are two keys to starting a habit. Start now and don't deviate. Okay, start now and don't deviate. So I want you to start this tomorrow. Start your personal success ritual tomorrow. Can you do it tomorrow? Yes? Good. So plan out your ritual, just like I said. Plan your on-ramp, all the specifics of the ritual and how you're going to make sure that it happens. You're going to ensure it. You're going to put stuff in your way. You might have to put the water out on your sink. You might have to put a post-it note on the refrigerator. You might have to hide something from yourself so that you don't naturally eat it. You might have to put your running shoes out, you know, uh, in front so you trip over them or your exercise clothes out so that you see them immediately. Whatever you have to do to set it up, plan the whole thing out and the timing of it, and then plan your first meal. And if you will do that as your morning success ritual, your personal success ritual, I guarantee that it will change the rest of your day.